A 301 redirect is a permanent redirect from one URL to another URL. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk through an example for the Media Captain's blog of when we decided to conduct a 301 redirect, how that benefited from an SEO standpoint. And after going through this critical thinking journey together with me, um, it should help you deploy similar tactics on your website. So here's a tip on how to discover URLs on your website that may need to be redirected. You could see here, I did a search for dynamic search ads, the media captain. So um, the topic dynamic search ads and our brand, of course, the media captain. Uh, by doing this, you'll start to see that um, different results come up and Google starts to cluster similar topics. So when Google clusters topics together, there are times where um, some of the content is completely different and unique and you do not need to conduct a redirect. But in this instance, setting up and understanding dynamic search ads and dynamic search ads for e-commerce. Um, the top article was written in 2022. The dynamic search ads for e-commerce was written in 2020. What I discovered when conducting this search was that the 2020 blog, um, it wasn't as good. Uh, it had a lot of similar content as this newer blog. Um, so because of that, because there are two similar blog topics, they're cannibalizing each other. Google is not giving full ranking authority to the most powerful blog because they are competing against one another. So this is a instance where you would want to conduct a permanent 301 redirect and you would want to take the older blog that's not as strong and you would want to redirect it in to the more recent blog. Now I'm gonna show you within WordPress, um, that's the content management system we have for the Media Captain site. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to conduct this within WordPress. So we love Yoast uh, plugin for SEO. Um, it's a free plugin, there's also a paid version, but Yoast has a redirects um, section that you can conduct redirects in. So for the Media Captain site, when we go redirects, we go straight into Yoast. So what you do is you would take the old URL and this is the blog I was referencing that was from 2020, dynamic search ads for e-commerce, for e-commerce, why they work. And I'm gonna redirect that into the new URL, Google dynamic search ads. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add the redirect. That then makes, if anybody has the old URL bookmarked, um, it's gonna take them to the new URL and Google is no longer gonna have two pages indexed uh, for that blog topic, there's just going to be one. Our agency here at The Media Captain, we use SEMrush to track our keywords. I absolutely love the software and I can't recommend it enough. Um, so you'll see within um, our SEMrush account, we are tracking keywords for dynamic search ads for e-commerce, benefits of dynamic search ads, setting up dynamic search ads. So it's very interesting. Um, I'm recording this video on July 3rd um, of 2023 and you'll see that our keyword rankings were we're kind of at the bottom of the first page of Google onto the second page. The best that we have is the number eight position. We're also number 13. Um, so my hope now is that after conducting these redirects that we are going to improve our ranking on uh, Google because there's no longer gonna be two pieces of content competing with each other. So what you can do at this instance is within SEMrush, um, there is a section called notes and you could compose a note and you could call this uh, conducted redirects on dynamic blogs. Um, I'm not gonna write a description, but you'll save this note and then you'll see this little red dot here. That's going to signify of when this update was made. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be monitoring this, uh, these keywords within SEMrush to see if there's hopefully a lift in traffic. There you have it. That's the high level on 301 redirects. It's fairly simple. It's redirecting one URL to another URL. Hopefully after watching this video, you got more guidance on how to identify content that could be competing against one another. And if that's the case, when to conduct the redirect at that point, and hopefully the potential uplift you would see in keyword rankings after submitting that 301 redirect. My name is Jason Parks with The Media Captain. Make sure to subscribe to The Media Captain on YouTube for more Google-related videos. And if you ever have any questions, you can contact me at themediacaptain.com.